Hello there, good to see ya. Today, we will be discussing the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, and if I've learned one thing from watching tech videos on YouTube, it's that I've already started this video wrong. Um, it should have started like this. Okay, so you've probably heard of or seen this device before. It was announced at Samsung's Unpacked event in February of this year, and the phone came out not long after on February 14th. And full disclosure, I like Samsung a lot. I've directed videos for them, they invited me to set Unpacked event where I did a panel on filmmaking, and they also gave me this phone for free because I bugged them incessantly about it. So let's start by talking about Z Flip's most prominent feature, the fact that it folds in half. Before using this device, my daily driver was a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I like a lot, but it is a big boy. When I do wear pants, they usually have small pockets, and a phone this size takes up a lot of space, which means it can get pretty tight down there, and that doesn't leave a lot of room for my 6.7 inches. That's the size of the Z Flip's display when unfolded, and it is a bit narrower than you might expect from a modern phone, but I actually really like it. My hands aren't huge, so having a phone that isn't super wide makes it easier for me to navigate across the entire screen. And at certain angles, you can see where the screen folds. But it honestly has never annoyed me. And on the topic of screens, Samsung always makes some of the best mobile displays. And this one is a Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED display with HDR. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2636, and it's not Quad HD like the S or the Note series, but it's still great. And that's something that you're going to hear often, that it doesn't have bleeding edge tech. For example, the screen doesn't have a high refresh rate like the S20's 120 hertz. And the Z Flip also has the same cameras from the Galaxy S10, not the ones from the S20, but it still takes great photos because the S10 took great photos. There's also no headphone jack, which is becoming more and more common. And again, for me, that is fine because I have been using wireless earbuds for years now. And since the phone folds and doesn't take up much room in my pants, there's more room for things to breathe. So I have plenty of space for my buds. Plus, these things are great. They have an 11 hour battery life. The case is compact and has wireless and USB-C charging, or you can charge it on the back of your Z Flip using PowerShare. And even though it doesn't have active noise cancellation, the way it fits in your ears gives you a really good seal. Add to that, the sound quality is great for how small they are, as is the microphone quality for calls. It's, it's really good. And they cost more than wired headphones, yes. I mean, the Z Flip does come with wired headphones and also a fairly unobtrusive phone case. But I've seen the Galaxy Buds Plus sell for $139 or lower, and that is honestly a steal. And this brings us to the biggest point, which is price. The Z Flip costs $1,380. And when I use a device, specs are a consideration but what I personally care about more than that is how the device works. Does it do everything I need to do and does it do it well and how does the device make me feel? And before getting into that, let me just say a bunch of words and numbers. The Z Flip has a Snapdragon 855 Plus, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, which is not expandable, as in you can't put a micro SD card in the thing, a 3300 milliamp hour battery, two rear cameras, a 12 megapixel ultra wide with an f-stop of 2.2, a 12 megapixel wide angle with an f-stop of 1.8, and it can record video up to 4K at 60 frames. The front of the device has a 1.1 inch Super AMOLED display for checking notifications, the time, battery life, what music is playing, and for looking at yourself if taking a selfie with a 10 megapixel front-facing camera that has an f-stop of 2.4. The Z Flip has LTE and not 5G, but there's rumors that that version is coming soon. It also runs Android 10 and can be charged wirelessly. And the Z Flip 5G is no longer a rumor. Samsung has confirmed that it exists and that it's coming out soon. And the difference between the version that I'm talking about and this new Z Flip 5G is that the Z Flip 5G has 5G, and also a newer, faster processor, and also costs $70 more. Cool. But how it works is what is important, and it works great. Switching between apps is smooth, opening the camera is fast, and most importantly, the phone folds in half. And that is the main selling point, because here's the deal. Should a phone that costs $1,380 have the most bleeding edge specs? Yeah, probably. 
It should, but the Z Flip is bleeding edge. I mean, the thing folds in half, and that is the point of this device. It does everything really well, and it has an incredibly unique feature that other manufacturers have tried but have yet to succeed at, as well as Samsung has. And just because it doesn't have the latest camera or processor or 5G doesn't mean that it's bad. I mean, it's personal preference here. And for a person like me, it does all of those things that you expect from a smartphone really well. The battery life is great, the screen is really crisp and clear and great for watching videos, and let's be honest, you're not buying this phone because you want the fastest processor or the greatest camera system. You're buying it because of its wow factor. You're buying it because of the statement that it makes. And let's get superficial for a moment if we can. This phone is meant as a status symbol in the same way that any new technology is, and the price tag is reflective of that. Do you remember how expensive flat screen TVs were when they came out? They were incredibly expensive, and while yes, we probably wanted them, few could actually buy them, and the people who could, well, they bought them. Having something like this isn't just about how well it performs as a phone, a camera, an internet browser, etc. It's about how it makes you feel and how it makes you look to others. We tend to forget that a large part of making an expensive purchase is the emotion involved. You want it to look good, to feel good in your hand, and to be a representation in a way of who you are. It's kind of like, you know, the, the patch that you put on your backpack, right? To tell people what bands you like. Even if you're not consciously thinking about it, it is part of the buying process. It's superficial sounding, but psychologically, it works. So with all that in mind, here are my final thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Does it have flaws? Yeah, of course it does. It's a first gen product, but it does do enough well where I can overlook it because it doesn't lessen my experience. But I've been using the Z Flip for over three months and my excitement for the device hasn't worn off. I love opening and closing it. I love using it. And I'd even go so far to say is that that novelty isn't without purpose. You can use the base of the device as a tripod for time lapses or video or doing a video chat. It's easier to throw in a pocket or purse. It also feels really good in my hand, both folded and open. I like that there is a physical closure when I'm done using it. Instead of just putting your phone down next to you, screen up, I actually have to close the device and can no longer see that big, beautiful screen. Now, we have to keep in mind that I got this phone for free, so I don't have to justify my purchase, but I also don't have to experience buyer's remorse. And I can tell you that if you do have the money, I don't believe you would regret getting this. But again, you're not buying this phone because you are in need of any new phone. You're buying it because it's cool. It's futuristic, it's exciting, it folds in half. And that is the feature that sets this device apart from anything else. So there you go, last interruption, I promise, but I got something really exciting to share with you. Well, two things actually. Uh, the first is that I won an Emmy, so that's pretty darn cool. Uh, the second thing is that while editing this video, Samsung reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be involved in Unpacked. To which I said, funny enough, I'm actually editing a video about your Z Flip right now. And they said, we don't care. What do you want to do for Unpacked? Uh, so I suggested a giveaway and they said, yeah, that's awesome. Why don't we do two giveaways? So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're doing two giveaways. The first one will be August 5th at 10 a.m. EST on my Twitch channel. We're going to be live streaming Unpacked and giving away one of the products that will be announced at that event. So I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you it is very, very, very cool. And then on August 7th at 3 p.m. EST, we're doing another giveaway on my Twitch for some more fun stuff. So, you know, come head over if you want. You don't have to pay anything to, to enter. It's just hanging out on the Twitch. Um, very excited about it. All right, it's a really cool opportunity. Thanks, Samsung. That's very nice of you and very fortuitous that this all kind of weirdly worked out. So that's what I got. I'm gonna let other Jake finish this, uh, finish this episode off. So with that said, I respect you, I love you, and remember, it's not goodbye, oh no, it's never goodbye, it's...